I'll probably just do the voiceover at the top. <laughs> Have you priced out all the cards yet? Or? Well, we priced out that binder. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of them we're just using because the rest of them are uh, in a, bottle, huh? a little more uh, like they're like these are all the ones that are more like you know the fifty dollar or less range. Um, so we're just going to use TCG on these. Very controversial card. <laughs> it's pricey though. Is that, is that the, uh, the, the Invoke Prejudice? Yeah, Invoke okay. Prejudice with the uh, statement. Like, the card itself is really controversial because you're picking a color and you're... <laughs> so the card itself is not... It's a racist card. Well, and the artist who drew it was also a known neo-Nazi. Oh! Yeah, so... Yeah, <laughs> everything combined in one. Love this card, library. Love it, yeah. That's oh, got, you have you have this one too. You have all of them. Yeah. It's caught uh, caught some people's eyes. Uh, that particular those, those cards from that set. Of Library of Alexander. Yeah, it's a really nice. You don't really see the old school cards, especially like out here. So it's it's pretty awesome. And you figured out the difference between uh, alpha and beta, right? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit important, right? Um, this is pricey. Go good for uh, I know you guys have an EDH crowd. I said I came here to play uh, Fate Reforged, the pre release. It was pretty good. Oh, really? This is like all the really good stuff for EDH, so your players will probably eat this stuff. I mean, yeah, we have a pretty demonic. We have a pretty good size EDH crowd. Oh, and then he has like new stuff too. Yeah. He went all the way out. It went from beta. To Innistrad. It's a very interesting collection. Because you normally don't see, like. It's been playing for like 20 plus years. That is very cool. So, yeah, the last the last bit of stuff he had was Innistrad block, and then it was just like. And it, that is very cool. And it, and it, I don't I'll go back really, to the Power 9. That's I don't crazy. think he really did anything uh, since then. And uh, I don't think really did anything since uh, Innistrad. And so it's been wow. sitting there at this All house Power 9. Now, and it's like, well, it's like, uh, I need to be looking at the car. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is uh, really good stuff. Let me zoom in. Um, it's really, really cool stuff. This side. Oh, it's just like a massive collection. Really surprised to see this card come in like any store. The only place I've seen it is Asgard Games. Really? Yeah. Because they tend to carry high end stuff. But, um. Well, because yeah. I, I, I heard that they, they play Legacy now. So. They do, yeah. They play Vintage too. Mainly for Vintage. But this is going to sell really well. I don't know, I might be interested. Depends. I don't actually have a set of Power 9. It's one of the few things I don't well, really have. You know, right now we're... Uh, I think we're... Uh, I think we're saying for the set, like 10, which is not about a grand, a little over a grand off of it. And I, we tried to... We tried to break them conservatively. We tried to... So the only issue, I, if I were to buy it, the only personal issue I would have is I don't like signed cards. And signed card just means like eight points of it, like automatically. Uh, but that's the only issue I have with the grading. Well, what would you say to say something like 95? It's about right. Um, it's around Christmas time, so <laughs> it would be a nice gift. I don't know, I have, uh, I'll talk to you guys more in detail. I think I have to like consider like my sure. finances, right? Sure, yeah, well. Uh, yeah. It is a nice, but I've actually had Power 9, I just don't have it anymore. And to be honest, GP Houston's coming up. If there's like any place to move it, it'll be like at one of the dealers there. Yeah. 
That's coming up in January. Uh, February, yeah. yeah. February. So that is like one of the only times I move cards. Is oh nice plane fuckers. This is probably like what my audience is more interested in. Oh, plane walkers. It's interesting that he had those cards, um, just in these binders. Normally, I, I put a hard case on them, like, it's a really interesting collection. Do you guys do online inventory or? Not really, but what we've done in this case, at least with the context of this minor, is we put it out there on high end magic, and then we put Did you get any bites? Uh, yeah, we've sold some. Not, not you know, we've had some people express interest in the Power 9. Um, also, in actually, one guy in California was talking about like, buying like, all of this. The whole collection or the fuck? Basically, just the contents of here, which we figured up was about 24000 some odd. Um, on the pricing, but then, you know, we are talking about you know, like a package deal. Um, so like still kind of talking. The way that you can know they're a serious buyer if they ask for uh, scans. It has like if I'm buying power, it has to be 320 DPI or like. He was talking about flying here from California to. Uh, <laughs> to look at it, it seems. So. Seems okay, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. This is the inner strand. I yeah. guess he organized by um, set, a rotation. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if I had to buy it, like, I would actually want you to scan it so I can look at like detail at home. And then that's like easy because then I can send it to people and they can look at it and they can give me feedback. So I think the way to uh, the way to sell it if you haven't done it already is like take a scan, a really high quality scan of each card. And then like make that photo album. Because I would tell you like no one uh, I wouldn't buy the cards based on the images that you guys have in Facebook. I, I mean yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's why we were saying hey if you need if you, if you want further you like like a closer detail. We were like, for, uh, our thing was we were just uh, one I love thing this was, card. We were just trying to get them listed. Uh, have you decided like uh, if you were to sell like these binders ho or well, we don't. We haven't priced it. These these binders right here, though, we haven't priced them, so we don't. Even so know. it's only that one. That you this out. is the only one that we fully priced out. There's some. I mean, there's some good. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Yeah. So he must have had. Oh, not as many as I. Still a lot. Enough to play, make it EDH sex. Love these. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Yeah, I would say if you're selling even 100 or 200, I would want like a scan so I can like look at, especially power since so dependent on like every nick, every little yeah. scratch. Yeah. The whole collection is nice though. Ooh, is that a time vault? You know, you should add that too. They call that the uh, 10th power 9 time vault. It's as powerful as the Power 9. Like, I would rather play in my vintage deck Time Vault over Power 9. So I would look up the price of this card because it's gotta be pricey. Like, it's... Wow. Time Vault. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll check that because... A Bader Time Vault? That might be pricier than some of the boxes. I'm not positive what the price of Time Vault is, but I know it's on the level of Power 9. And that's a, that's a Bader. So, yeah, before you like sell anything, I would <laughs> go for like all the prices of all these cards. Yeah, well, we definitely, that's what I'm saying, we, we already figured it's like we'll, we'll individually. We, we look I'm kind of curious what it is now. Like, I know it's Time Vault was considered very close to Power 9. And that, since that's a beta version of it, instead of like unlimited power, yeah. it might it might really be more pricey. Dark Rituals. Let me see if I can... Uh... Are you done with this one, buddy? Yeah, yeah, I'm done with that one. Okay. Dark Rituals. Hydroclast. Psychotic Glass. It's pretty. Good job. 
<laughs> that was a time walk that we just saw. Wow, that is crazy. Wow, look at this card. Time Vault. It's a beta or alpha or time vault. It's just in this binder. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. False Orders. It's a pretty good one. Dragon Well. My favorite card. Yes. Dragon Well. Wow. Crazy. Anime Wall. Blaze of Glory. This is a very. I actually would rather buy this book than the other book. Oh, really? Yeah. Not in price value, just because like I don't see. Like the particular cards. Yeah, I, I see that. Um, I see. I think it's this then, one. And I don't believe. Oh, wow. This one. There might be pricey stuff in here too. This is Arabian Nights. Strip mines from antiquities. Maze, you got a maze of death. It's just so random to see like uh, a new card. Wow. So what happened to his like bulk stuff? Did you buy that too? Yeah. And that's we, just we've sitting already somewhere. We've through it, and we have like a huge box full of. Would you be interested in selling that? Well, some of them we packaged up in some grab bags, but I can show the ones we haven't packaged up yet, too. This is I, this is a nice card. It's just stuff that you don't see ever. This is a nice card. Mary Universe. Ivory Tower used to be really good. Yeah, it's Time Vault, so. Underworld Dreams. So how much does it go for? Well, if it if it's actually a beta. Yeah. So it's either alpha, but it's Black Order. It's gotta be beta. Would be the least expensive version of it. Well, because there was. There's also international collectors. No, that, those are square well, corners, aren't they? Or those those you can, if you um, open it and go to the back, then international edition doesn't have a Magic Gathering back. Okay. So that it's real easy to tell. So, like if you like open it and the sleeve. Ooh, that's an Asa. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's collector's edition. Oh, it's collector's edition. So, because it's a collector's edition, you're looking at somewhere around, um, even if it's near mint, it's like 38. How much is it if it's, uh, yeah, you, oh, you're right. Uh, if it's, uh, lightly played, uh, it's a thousand dollar card. <laughs> yeah, it's more than some of the boxes. It's more than most of the boxes. Even, even unlimited, if it was unlimited, you're looking at a like a four hundred dollar. Oh, that's kind. That kind of sucks. That the about back, yeah. Fourteen hundred. Is the uh, well, you you check the uh, power, right? I don't remember. The power doesn't have backs like that, right? No. Okay, yeah. That would uh, it would be black boarded anyway, so you want to have white boarded power. But that is uh. <laughs> Yeah, when I saw it, I was like, hmm, that could be more valuable than the cards in that binder. So that's binder. why it's still in here. Like, we, I know like, one of my partners went in there and sorted through some of that. And really kind of... Oh, I would, I would hope he caught something yeah. like that. Right? The so. difference between $30 and $1K. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, okay, I'll check. I'll double check. You never know, so I can overlook something. This is a error from Mark in front of that sleeve is because like that's the only way you can tell the difference. No, I mean, when, that, that is the only way you can tell the difference. Um, Especially in like a sleeve. In a sleeve of a case where you're yeah. just. This is pretty cool. They drew glasses on it. This huh. is an altar. The artist drew some glasses on it. Yeah. It's really, really good stuff. We're still here. Now, 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 now,
pigs from Bill Rear to this dog. So what are you going to do with the bulk? Are you going to keep it, sell it, move it? Just sell it. I mean, we were putting stuff in our comments and then comments. Uh, but I mean, there's, like I said, there's like a, let me see it, there's like a box back there. And it's a mix. Like I said, it's a mix of anywhere from, uh, like I said, in the block down to. Uh, what is this? A lot of Syrian dragons. A lot of signed stuff too. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Raph gods. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're angels. Yeah. 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 Yeah.